Uh, greetings. I'm gonna try and be as um, as cohesive as I can in this um, in this video, um, despite um, kind of uh, <laughs> the pain I'm going through, which is to be expected. Um, I I'd be worried if I wasn't going through um, going through deep trials. Um, My my eyes like caught me and I was, I was like crying so much and I have like a real red thing in my eye and I was crying so hard it caused <laughs> it caused my eyes to burn and fire um that would be in. I I love I love people so much and it's hard when you see them what is there but other other loved ones and about me has desire to go home to be here to Lord but I know he has me here for a reason. It's it's the soul of others and for them to see Christ true me and, and those in the world do not understand that because they're obsessed with they're obsessed with this money. They're obsessed with worldly things. They have no desire to serve others, they have no desire to sacrifice, they have no desire to do what's righteous and holy because they're dead and I, I was wanted there and consumed this world with PlayStation and thing, but I don't desire nothing in this world because it's all gonna turn up and, and dust in the end. It's gonna be all destroyed and people they cling on to this life and they say live your best life now or or no this life only matters <laughs> and it's just foolishness because they don't realize this this life is is it's only it's only the just mere beginning. Of your existence, if all eternity left, and but people don't care about the souls, they care about getting the resources, building status, or creating a family to create status, or or all or, or worldly desires, and no desire to serve God, and no desire to serve others, none. It's, when we're dead, we we have no desire to love our Creator. That's true, and in my mind, and I'm, I would say. By far, um, I might be correct me. You might feel free to comment second to correct me if I'm wrong when I say this. But I do believe that I'm the biggest idiot on the planet, because I often project on other people they that their love they have inside themselves for each other and things. And when they say they love you, and I, I take that to heart when someone says they love me. And but when their actions say otherwise, it becomes a lie. Because what they consider love is not love at all. A happy love is the only love. Uh, the love comes from God is the only love. They're willing to sacrifice, put the needs of others before yourself. Selflessly love, that's what matters. But this world is just is, is just consuming down in them and only consumed about only doing things if it's convenient to them. Not willing to suffer, not willing to die to self. And this world, they, very few people will do that. I, I'm glad they give all everything I have if it means saving the soul, so be it. But that's what matters more is the salvation of souls, not our temporary existence. Because our life is going to go like that and my apologies, uh, my emotions are kind of all to place because I have so many loved ones and it just frustrates me. And then I just think myself of how God was so frustrated with me. <laughs> I, 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 it, it, I mean, all of how, how he's so long suffering because if I was God, I, I would not be able to be nowhere near as long suffering. That's the truth. I just like smite. I just like smite everyone. Just, 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 just. <laughs> he showed like over oh, 100 years before he flooded out, before he wiped humanity out. I was just wiped out everybody. That's the truth. In, in my hair, in my, in my hair, well, well, outside of Christ, I, I show no mercy. That's the truth. And yet, people, they don't realize how most fun loving God is. Because the truth is that uh, if, it, if it was me, I'd be, I have shown no mercy that if you don't love me, I just destroy you straight away. But the difference between God's love is that God so loved us that He died for us, He paid our sins on the cross for us. And none of us, none of us to the extent, can ever be as loving as that is because it's impossible for us. Only God's able to do that. So frustrates me to people walking around saying stuff about each other pains me. I witnessed that when it well about walk, I witnessed that in wherever I go. I witness it and it breaks my heart, whether it be from the 
to unsaved or the saved it just pricks my hair and I just I just wall up I just, I just because it's the fallen nature of men we a lot of us can't help it but it still breaks my heart it breaks my heart to see people not willingly to take the initiative to help others it com completely just, just breaks my heart and my soul and it's like that hard it's not that hard to take the initiative to help others it's not that hard it's the same much about effort is to watch a television same amount of energy it takes to do all activities, but the world chooses to do the opposite, and then everything is chaotic, and you know, and it, it, as it is, it will be that when scripture says the heart will go cold, and it is my lot, my loved ones are that way. I, I am so fearful that I am, that I can't trust even to ask like for to have any help to help me to help other people. You no, know? can't. They're more in in into themselves, self-absorbed. And when you're surrounded by five self-dissolved people, because the truth is, it only takes maybe one, two, three people to help like change the trajectory of someone's life. Five people even. But I can't even get one. I, as yet, I can't get one. And maybe the Lord may open more, more doors and may, may, more people desire to do what's righteous and holy, because all I can just pray. That's all I can do. It's, it's up, to, up to God. And if you send people in my life that's willing to carry the cross and willing to die to self and willing to share the gospel and willing to um, willing to just help people wherever it takes you know um, you just encouragement because a lot of people are down out what they need is just someone just to talk to them just give them encouragement share the gospel and be a light onto them and and we become so cold that we don't treat people with love anymore we see them as others and we just Because Christ died for sinners, and that's the way that, that, that as Christians we should be towards sinners, loving. And it just breaks my heart to see people point figures and other people calling them criminals and things, and yet they don't realize that we are criminals in the God's eyes. So I do. I had to be more wise of, of how I use the stewardship that God's given me, because my heart is still be grieved at the moment. I am. I just see people perishing all around me. And I, and just by the grace of God, I could have easily been them. It's just only by His grace that I'm saved. It's only by His blood. It's only, it's only by Him, and Him alone. Because I couldn't save myself. I was deeply suicidal. And the truth is that if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, I think definitely could in darkness right now when when everything's happened. My loved ones, um, just seeing them just. I feel when the mark of the beast system comes in that a lot of my loved ones will just easy take it. And I could just pray that the hearts may soften they may come to know the truth and whatever it takes, whether that Lord removes me from them, whether the Lord takes me home, whatever it takes for the idols and the hearts to be shadowed and that's why I pray for everyone that's watching this, that whatever it takes for souls to be saved, that's what I pray for. Anyway, my apologies for this video being extremely um, all the place. Um, but I, I pray for you, your loved ones, anyone watching this. If you're not saved, I've been praying for your salvation because that's the most important thing at the end of the day. That's all that we matters in the end. Is, do you know your creator? Are you saved? Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you put your trust in Him and not in this world and not in others but Him? To, you know, that's all that matters in the end. Like, do you love God with all your heart, mind, and soul? And do you love your neighbor as yourself? And do you love your enemies? Anyway, thanks for watching this video.